Galing na ka lang Rahabim sa laman Dahil din tribes Kung ka sila sa Lebanon Alam pa ka dyan harangan na ma So this is a starter when you turn the ignition switch, this becomes energized. There's an electromagnet inside the body that when engaged pushes out a rod the pinion gear is attached to. This gear meets the flywheel and the starter turns. This action spins the engine over sucking in air and fuel while electricity is sent to the spark plugs igniting that fuel in the combustion chamber. When the starter fails, you'll turn the key and nothing will happen. You'll usually get an audible click that sounds something like this. That's all it does, it just wants to click. There's other videos that walk you through the diagnostic process, but I have a buddy across town with a no start condition on a 2008 Nissan Rogue, and I already know what the issue is. Hallelujah. So here it is, the 2008 Nissan Rogue that won't start. I already went through the diagnostic process earlier in the week and determined it needs a starter. Now the most important step before replacing any starter motor is disconnecting the negative cable on the battery. You can total the car and hurt yourself by leaving this battery connected. Jack the vehicle up and set jack stands under the pinch wheel. The sidewalk is in the way so I use this part of the subframe as a jacking point. This front passenger side tire has to come off. And the starter's location is right there. There's two bolts holding it in and absolutely no way to get to it from the engine bay or underneath the car. You'll need about 20 inches worth of extensions with a 5 8 socket to remove the bottom and top bolt. I'm using a 24 inch magnetic pickup tool to extract the bolts so that they don't get dropped in the process of me removing them. So in order to get to the top bolt, you'll need to add a universal joint to the series of extensions and having a ratcheting breaker bar handy makes this a lot easier. So now we just have to remove this wiring harness and this terminal connection. My arm wasn't long enough to reach this connection, so I had to lay under the passenger side control arm and blindly feel for this connection and release it with one hand. All you have to do is push down on this tab and pull out. You'll need a 12 millimeter socket to remove the nut from the terminal connection on the top of the starter. I'm using my flexible 3H drive ratchet because the space is so tight my quarter inch drive ratchet wouldn't fit.
And after that, the starter is free to be pulled out. That's how you remove the starter. As with anything, you want to compare the old part to the new part to make sure they are identical. Installation is reversal removal, but just a heads up, it's much more difficult to put the new starter in than it is to take the old one out. The terminal connection is the first thing you want to put on the new starter while you still have some clearance. Bolt the starter back up and then reconnect your harness. The only way I found to get these two bolts back in was to use a magnetic pickup tool as a guide and then twist the handle on the magnetic pickup tool so I could start the threads before tightening it down. The starter has been replaced and the vehicle starts right up. You also want to make sure you clean out the positive and negative battery posts as corroded terminals can cause no star conditions in the future. I hope this helps somebody out and until next time y'all stay tuned. Sin harán a más